Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is your favourite, of course, His Current Thoughts. I hope you're all doing great today. Um, so uh, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you uh, have been here before, welcome back. It's great to see you again. I hope you're doing great today. And uh, just a quick thing, it's intuitive, it's general. So some of the uh, messages might not make sense to you or might not resonate. Just take whatever does, leave what doesn't. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, and share the video. This is annoying me that this isn't centered. Here we go. Um, <laughs> please uh, comment and like and share the video if you want to. If you want a private reading with me, check the description box below. And of course, please also follow me on Twitter. Twitter? Well, I am on Twitter, but I didn't mean that. I meant TikTok and um, uh, Instagram because that's mainly where I hang out. But I do have Twitter as well. Okay, let's get on with today's reading. And so it's His Current Thoughts, our favorite one. Here we go. Let's find out what his current thoughts are. Here we go. His current thoughts. We've got loads of cards today. I picked tons. I don't really know why. So I've got four Oracle and four Tarot. So this is cool. Uh, King of Coins, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Two of Coins reversed. Um, It's interesting. Listen to your... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's right. You've got four, but the others have got three because you've got two... Um, ask your angels cards. Um, they felt very strongly to be yours. Yeah, you're very confused about something. Seven of Cups and Healing Heart. Uh, they're not all going to fit on, so I'm just going to leave it like this. It's fine. Let's put you. No. Um, <laughs> let's put you here. Okay, they're not all on the screen, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, we'll just manage. We'll just deal. Okay, so. His current thoughts, it's interesting because we, he's coming through as the King of Coins and the King of Swords. The King of Coins, I feel like this is a husband energy or a long-term partner energy. So it's going to depend on you and the situation you are in with this person, whether they are seeing themselves as your husband or your long-term partner or somebody else's. But the key point here is his current thoughts is he's very identified with the idea of being a husband or being committed. So for some of you, this is a problem because they are maybe in a relationship already and you're hoping that they will leave it or move away from it. For some of you, you're in a relationship with this person, in which case this is a good thing because this person is thinking relationship-wise with you. That said, this person is fearful. This person is fearful. Seven of Swords, they are still unsure. They've got a wall up or a boundary up. They're a bit suspicious. This doesn't mean that they are thinking badly of you or that they're being negative. They're just a little afraid or a little fearful. Um, they're feeling like they're having to navigate the situation. Um, you know, they, they don't feel sure about what's going on. They're being called to, look, ask your angels or listen to your intuition. Basically, this is a soul um connection situation it might involve more than one soul connection there may be because the seven of swords can be a sign of an affair you know or a you know an unconventional relationship of some sort of along the lines of an affair so um this can be a sign of that that maybe things are hidden with your relationship but the point is that because of this listen to your intuition and ask your angels it's a strong soul connection um, and that really this person is listening on an intuitive level or they're getting their signs and signals about you. They're getting their guidance from on a soul level. So again, this is going to depend on your person. How connected are they soul wise? Are they very connected? Are they medium level connected? Because the more connected they are, the more likely they are to navigate the course correctly or not correctly, but in your favor, let's say. Um, the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords together, they have got some external issues going on, some external boundaries. It could be um, circumstances and events that are causing a, a, an actual physical out there in the world barrier between you and them. Um, they, they feel a little bit overwhelmed. They've got a lot of different options of things to do or things to think about or ways to go. And emotionally, they're feeling a bit pulled around but they will keep on course or move on the right course depending on how well they can listen to their intuition. Healing heart. This is about 
at the moment they're trying to heal they feel uh it, like i say they're being guided from a heart and soul perspective so how uh, focus they are on coming towards you depends on how connected they are with their intuition with their heart and soul with this ask your intuition and seven of cups there's absolutely a, the, uh, there's it's absolutely crucial that they do listen to their intuition if they're going to move towards you effectively and successfully yeah the king of swords could be them there they could be an air sign but they are someone who is trying to be very logical and very um, intelligent about the situation. They are thinking a lot about you as well. This is King of Swords, so it's a thinking energy. They are thinking a lot about you. Um, some of them are feeling very overwhelmed. Some of them are releasing overwhelm. So it depends. Um, again, how overwhelmed this person is, how fearful this person is, how suspicious this person is, depends on how much they're listening to their intuition. What I feel is this relationship is teaching them to let go of fear. How and to feel more comfortable and to feel calmer and to feel better in their life in general. How well they do this depends on how connected to their heart and soul they are. Okay? But this person is seeing their commitment as important. And they are being guided intuitively. And they are thinking about you. This is the key. They are thinking about you. Okay, um, so I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll speak to you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. I hope to speak to you soon. Hi, group two. How are you doing? I hope you're great today. So we've got three Oracle cards, tarot card here for clarification. So we are looking at his current thoughts. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Ten of Coins. Oh, <laughs> reconsider. Accept Heaven's help, Four of Cups. Yeah, this person's not sure what they're doing. That's clear. But the universe is trying to help them accept heaven's help. The universe is trying to guide them, okay? So if you're feeling frustrated with this person, the universe is doing its best to help them, to move them forwards. But it's they're not accepting it. <laughs> they're not fully accepting heaven's help. It said that you've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So they, they want help. They feel a little bit lost in the situation. Um, this person could be... If this person is the knight of wands so this person could be partying this person could be um being a bit wild this person could be out celebrating having fun drinking uh doing their own thing this person it depends because your person might be um, very young or more mature and it, it depends on the circumstance your person is in but this person is scattered they're very passionate they're very excited about life or very passionate about something in life They've got a lot of fire in them. They've got a lot of uh, creativity or desire. They've got a lot of passion in them. However, this person is a bit all over the place. This person doesn't really know whether to come towards you or not. They're always reconsidering. So they come towards you, then they go away, then they come towards you, then they go away, either literally or energetically. So you feel this constant turmoil around them or you feel like you're settled with them and then they do something different, you know, that sets you off, like makes you feel unstable again. So um, this person is kind of, their thoughts are that they don't know what to think, okay? And I feel like this has been ongoing with this person. They're always changing their mind. The Knight of Wands is changeable and reconsider it says this person keeps changing their mind about what they want. They're probably very influenced by their friends or family with the Five of Wands. They've got some friends and family or some people around them who are kind of low vibe, right? They're maybe not that um, inspiring or they're not very um, supportive in some way, you know, and this person is getting caught up in like low vibe energies squabbles that this could even be with you 
But this person is being affected by a low vibe energy within themselves or within their immediate circle of peers and family, friends, etc. Um, it could also be that these low these uh, friends or family are actually leading this person astray to some extent. So it could be that they're socializing with people who are not helping them very well. They could be get you know uh, taking them off on the wrong track, you know. Um, there's a lot of celebrating and partying and 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 having a good time going on in this situation, but it's it feels kind of um, low vibe to me in a way. This person doesn't fully see the opportunity that you are offering with the four of cups. This person is probably avoiding pain or sadness they're saying not right now to the opportunity but i also think they'll reconsider this in the future it's not about you the universe is trying to help them and guide them okay so you don't need to worry they are being helped but this person is confused and scattered i think it's because they're very focused on what the friends and family might think or what society perceives is right or or most attractive or most uh significant you know they're being influenced by external and quite low vibe energies they could be very influenced by money as well ten of coins um uh but i also think that they see a lot of abundance with you what i would say this person sees you as really abundant now this is good but make sure that this person doesn't take advantage of that because this person for me i think on the whole at the moment is saying not right now to this energy. It doesn't make this person bad. For a few of you, this person is in a very low vibe state. It doesn't make them a bad person, but it can make a lot of their behavior bad, right? Um, for some of you, this person isn't like that. They're just trying to find themselves and they just genuinely are a little bit confused or a little bit lost at the minute. The point is that um, to not, um, to give and receive in equal measure, all right? So, they see you as a really abundant. They, I think they feel quite a decent amount of passion towards you. They want to have a good time with you, but they're very affected by these low vibe people. I don't think this is you, but they're, the universe, the guides are wanting to show you that they're not fully taking this opportunity that you're offering them. Even though the universe is trying to help them to move out of this low vibe energy, they're kind of not biting at the minute. But I think they will potentially reconsider in the future. Just don't give too much too soon if this person can't decide how they feel about you. Don't be just an option to this person, okay? Is, is kind of the message really here. Or be careful about whether that's what you really want. I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll speak to you on the next reading on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon, guys. Oh. Hi, group three. How are you doing? I hope you're amazing today. So we've got three oracle cards and four tarot cards for you. So his current thoughts are four of swords, eight of swords, page of cups, three of swords. A lot of sword energy. This person could be an air sign. But, for, but I think more than that, this person has a decent amount of anxiety. They're probably not taking a lot of action at the minute. This person could be a bit of a dreamer, head in the clouds, not very realistic. Um... Spread your wings is the two of wands. Set yourselves higher. Set your sights higher. Unlikely. So uh, this person, their current thoughts. Um, right, the unlikely. Let's address this straight away because some of you are going to be panicking about this. Right, what they're saying is for some of you, you need to pay, pay attention. Let's keep it simple. Is this person really... Um, realistically um moving towards you or is this person messing you around for some of you this person has claims to have a lot of issues and probably does but is kind of got their head in the clouds um in which case this set yourself set your sights higher is saying that uh, this situation for some of you not all of you for some of you this situation is unlikely 
is unlikely to manifest. Now, before you start panicking, if you've chosen group three and you don't think this is the case, I'm not telling you something you don't already know. So if this sounds like wildly different to what you're expecting to hear, well, then this message isn't meant for you and you fall into the other interpretation of the unlikely, which we'll get to in a minute. Some of you already know that this person is unlikely to commit or to do whatever they need to do to be with you. And what they're saying is if you set your sights higher and spread your wings, you can have the situation you want, but you need to be uh, connected to that. So they kind of <laughs> interrupted my reading as they often do with a transmission of energy here, because what they're wanting you to see is that for some of you, they're saying, hang on, hang on. Let's not talk about his current thoughts. Let's talk about the fact that you know deep down this is an unlikely situation and you need to set your sights higher. Spread your wings. Look at all the people out there and all those, these people who potentially can love you and give you what you want. So they're really wanting to interrupt and tell you this. So some of you, this is your message, okay? That it's like, no, let's not talk about their current thoughts anymore. Let's talk about the fact that you deserve better. Let's talk about the fact that this situation is unlikely. Let's talk about spreading your wings and going and meeting that person who really does uh, value you and makes you their number one, yeah? So that's a, <laughs> there's a complete interruption to the um, advertised program, let's say. Now let's talk about the rest of you who... Um, uh, who are wondering what's going on here. So as some of you, it was that first interpretation. Uh, the, se the second group of you, what they're, they're, they're saying a version of that. And it's saying that this person at the moment feels like this is not going to happen. Doesn't mean it won't happen, the situation with you. But they feel like it's kind of a pie in the sky idea. They're kind of cynical. They're kind of negative at the moment. It doesn't mean it will last forever. They're not taking much action. The Four of Swords says that they are wanting to recover. They're trying to get over something. They feel like it could be though like a lethargy, like a, a sense of apathy, like, oh, it's never going to happen. What's the point? They, they feel pessimistic about the situation because they've got a lot of fear. Eight of Swords. They're very wrapped up in fear. They've got a lot of thoughts and worries about the situation. Page of Cups is saying they feel like they don't really know uh, what to do. Um, uh, the Page of Cups is a puppy love energy. It, it's a, a childlike energy. It's a hopeful energy. It's an intuitive energy. It's an investigative energy. And what they're really saying by this placement of cards is that this person on a deep level could connect with the opportunity of you and what you're offering and the relationship with you but they've got to connect on a childlike level you know with their inner child from the heart and soul with optimism and hope and joy this person is not in that place at the moment this person is up in their head this person can't even he's not in vibrational range of the page of cups and that's why moving forward at this moment in time is unlikely because not not that it will be forever but because this person is not in range of this kind of high vibe, childlike wisdom energy of the Page of Cups. They can't connect to this. The Page of Cups is an opportunity, that is something that's great, that you can, um, uh, that can bring you the, the, the wish fulfilled, the thing you've always wanted. But in order to connect with it, you've got to be so intuitive because it's something kind of um out there and you know this person just isn't in range of that at the moment they need to set their sights higher at the minute they've got a strong three of swords energy this is disappointment sadness heartbreak disappointment in the past you know they've got a lot of fear this person if they're gonna going to be able to connect with the opportunity with you they've got to set their sights higher spread their wings do something new um open up to possibility not necessarily move, not necessarily take action, but they need to connect with this higher level of energy. What they're saying is that this person is kind of not there yet. However, the point is that these are coming up in their current thoughts. It's not really their current thoughts. The Page of Cups is more their heart and soul. This is their current thoughts. 
Eight of swords, four of swords, three of swords. And that's why it's unlikely that they can move towards you. And they feel pessimistic about being able to move towards you. However, on a heart and soul level, their heart and soul is saying, come on, let's, let's see the possibility here. Let's aim for the stars. Let's go set our sights higher. Let's increase my, our standards and expect more for ourselves. Let's not settle in this situation. Let's not be negative. Let's spread our wings. Let's fly. Let's uh, see all the opportunity that there is in this relationship. Do you see what I mean? So there's the heart and soul of them that is this optimist, this childlike energy, this joyful energy, optimist, sorry, optimist, and this joyful energy, but their mind is very cynical or very fearful, okay? And so there's this fight going on. I feel like on the whole at the moment, most of them are very committed to their thinking. And so they generally feel fearful. And this is why it's unlikely to manifest to a higher, uh, to the next stage, you know, the relationship at the moment. But the point is the soul, their heart and soul is in there, um, kind of cheerleading, cheering them on. Their heart and soul wants to move forward, wants things to improve. Um, but their thoughts are quite negative at the minute and I feel like they're a little bit unlikely to move at the moment. But I think if you fall into this second category, th there is the possibility because their heart and soul is really trying to move them to a more positive place. If they allow themselves to be shifted, then this will make the world a difference. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon. Bye.